This is the kind of night with an exciting presidential debate that my old boss and mentor, Peter Jennings, would have loved. Hard to believe, but it was 10 years ago tomorrow that we lost Peter, so tonight we're going to take a look back. From ABC, this is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Good evening. It like many aspiring journalists, I grew up wanting to be Peter Jennings. So worldly, so smooth, with the 007 looks and that keen intelligence that just pierced right through the screen. Peter, who was actually a high school dropout, started as the anchor here on ABC at age 26. But it didn't go so well, so he went overseas to reinvent himself as a foreign correspondent. Let's go to Peter now. Here he is at the Munich Olympics, filing his now legendary live reports as Israeli athletes were massacred by Palestinian terrorists. Might be most likely to narrow in on a group called Black September. In the 1980s, Peter returned to the anchor chair, leading ABC's World News Tonight. Signature moments included his 24 hours of anchoring at the turn of the millennium. And then there was his emotional moment during our marathon coverage of the terror attacks of September 11th. So if you're a parent, you got a kid in some other part of the country, call him up. His extraordinary career came to an end in 2005, however. I have learned in the last couple of days that I have lung cancer. He never returned. For me, Peter was perhaps the single most important influence of my professional life. This is us reporting together in Iraq. There was no question that in person, Peter could be tough and very intimidating, but he was a singular figure, a deeply serious and skeptical journalist, a broadcast icon, and someone I and many others here still dearly miss.